Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can switch cameras in a scene using the buttons on your keyboard. And don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload to this channel. With that in mind, let's do some work. So, I have this fantastic scene here from the Asset Store uh, named Flooded Grounds. I've used it for a couple of mini tutorials now. Uh, it's free and it's pretty great. Uh, heads up, I have no input in this. This is just something I've chosen because I really like this scene. Uh, there is some post-processing, but as some of you already know, if you have multiple cameras set up all at the same time, the post-processing in the scene view doesn't appear. Uh, if we have one camera, it will, but that's irrelevant right now. Uh, so yeah, I have four cameras set up around the scene, and if we click on them, we can see the different previews right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's say, have numbers one, two, three, four to represent all these cameras. So if we press play now, we're not obviously going to be able to do anything, but we'll be able to see what exactly is going on in the scene and the kind of results that we would expect to see. So at the moment, it's just set to camera one, which looks just like that. So we need to now make them buttons work. So to do that, we need to go to edit and we need to go to project settings and input, not tags and layers, input. And over here, you'll see size, whatever it's set as. And if it's just like mine, it'll be 18 and the last one is cancel. So we need to add four buttons. So we need to add four to this size. So let's make that 22 and it'll duplicate whatever you have right here. So let's take that first duplication of cancel and let's call it name one key. And positive button will be the number one. And let's get rid of the alt positive button. So what we're doing here is we're setting that button right there, number one, as the active button and nothing else will uh, work with it. Now, there are different ways you can use this, but this is the easiest and quickest way to do it. So obviously, same again, two key, and just keep note of the capitalization that you use as well, because it is important. Uh, and then the next one, so that'll be three key, number three. And obviously, you can use as many as you want. If you've got 10 cameras, you could use one to zero, or if you've got 12, you could use one to zero, and then, I don't know, C and Y if you want. It's entirely up to you. Uh, so that'd be four key and four so we have those four keys set up now to be able to press so unity now knows when we're pressing those keys so let's create that script so right click create c sharp script and cam switch and let's load that up in visual studio now a lot of people would think oh well this seems difficult how, how are you going to get them cameras work it's actually really simple you don't need that many lines of code you need four variables, which is the four cameras, and you need four if statements to take note of when you're pressing that button. Uh, we can get rid of void start and the annotations because we don't need them. And let's start by declaring those camera variables. So public game object, and we'll have cam1. Nice and easy. So we just need to duplicate that three more times. So we'll have cam2 cam3 and cam4. So there's our variables set. So in our void update, we now need to put an if statement to say if we're pressing the one key, then turn all the other cameras off and just have this camera on. So if in brackets input dot get button down and in brackets and quotes the name of that button you have named it. So in our case, it's one capital K E Y and then quote close bracket close bracket open curly bracket so what we're saying here is if we're pressing the number one we need to turn cam one on so cam one dot set active true and then at the same time we'll do all the others as false so cam two dot set active false then cam three dot set active false and cam four dot set active false so obviously there are different ways of creating this same effect the reason i'm doing it this way is so we can visually see how this is all working rather than doing fancy coding that a lot of people may not understand so we can see here going line by line what exactly is happening and how this process works so we can copy that if statement paste it below and obviously we change that to two so if we're pressing number two, we want cam one 
to be false, but we want cam2 to be true. Obviously, 3 and 4 would also be false. Once again, we can repeat that if statement, change it to 3. So cam1 would be false, cam2 would be false, cam3 would actually be true. And finally, number 4, everything would be false except for number 4. As simple as that. And then save that script. So we can see the exact process of what this script is doing. If we're pressing a certain key, it's only executing those four lines of code. So let's go back into Unity and wait for it to compile. Okay, so it's saying there's an error. Perfect, let's have a look where that error is. Right there, so I've deleted the bracket. Great thing about Unity, if you go to the console with an error, double click, it'll take you to where the error is. Extra bit of information there. So it's compiled, and what we need to do is add this to our scene. And it doesn't really matter what object you add it to, but let's add it to a game object. Uh, not worth adding it to any of the cameras because when those cameras turn off, the script will also turn off. So you're left with a bit of a problem there. So just make sure you don't attach it to any of the cameras. So let's attach cam switch to there, and then attach all four camera variables over here. Number two, number three. And a number four. And I'm going to save that scene. And then I'm going to turn off cameras two, three, and four. So select them all and just untick up here. So we have just camera one active. And let's press play. <clears throat> and let's try this out. So when it starts up, we'll have camera one on. So let's press two, three, four, and two, three, and one and four there we go so you can see it switching those cameras over it's easy as that so guys i hope that's useful because in a lot of projects that probably is a really handy tool to have uh yeah guys i'll see you around thank you very much for watching